So let's see how we can install PostgreSQL 16 and how we can create a database. First, go to your browser and type PostgreSQL. Now, this is the first link. Click on PostgreSQL.org. I'll have the link in the description. You can directly click the link. Now, once this is open, you will see all this stuff. So you can just click on download and you will see installers and packages for all these OS. So right now I'm on Windows, so I'll click on Windows. You can choose according to your OS. Now if you go down, as you can see the versions and Postgres 16 is the latest. So now you can click on this download the installer and go down and click on this 16.1 next to Windows. And now your download has started. So let's wait for a few seconds and after this download is complete, we will see how we can install PostgreSQL and create the database. As you can see, my PostgreSQL is downloaded. Now click on open file or just open your downloads folder and double click to open the installer. As you can see, now the installer is open. Just click on next. And this is where your files will be installed. If you want to change it, you can just click on this button and you can install it in any other directory. But I suggest you install in the default directory. Click next. Now these are the tools and stuff that will be installed. We definitely need PostgreSQL server because if without the server, Postgre is not installed. And we need PG admin for because we need a GUI tool to create database, view database, and all that stuff. If you don't install PG admin for, you'll have to do all that by command line. And the stack builder is uh, if you want to later on install another tool and other drivers. So and this is the command line tools. So if you either use command line or GUI to do actions on your PostgreSQL server. Now for now, I'll just keep all of these four selected because it is a hassle to later on download and install all this, any of this stuff. Click next. And this is where the data of your databases will be stored inside the PostgreSQL folder, inside the version number, inside the data folder. Okay, hit next now. And this is the password that you are, are creating for your server's admin. So I'll just type uh, the password here. Make sure you remember the password and you don't forget the password because this is the password for super admin. Hit next. And this is the default port. You can change it if you want, but uh, this is the default one. So it is easier to remember or also easier to find, figure out if you forget the port number. Hit next and hit next again. And this is the details that will be used for installation. If you want, you can uh, go over all these details again and hit next. And finally, we are ready to install the server. Just click next and the installation will start. So finally, after a long time, the download or sorry, the installation has completed. Now you are seeing this option that uh, you want to uh, do this. So for now, I'll just click finish. Oh, sorry, don't click finish because uh, if you don't click finish, uh, the stack builder will open. Just uncheck this so that uh, you don't open stack builder now. Just click finish. And now you can press Windows and type PG admin. And you will see this for PG admin 4. Open this. And now, as you can see, your PG admin is opening up. This PG admin is the GUI tool that helps you. Uh, open databases and create databases see the data inside the databases and all that stuff so let's wait till this is open now you will see the servers here if you click on this as you can see uh, you are seeing these two things i already had postgresql 15 installed so uh, you can uh, just ignore this and this is the one that you are interested in so what you can do is right click this and click register uh, not register click on connect server and now here you need to use the password that you created while you are installing Postgres so enter your password click on save password so that you don't have to enter again when you connect to this database again click ok now as you can see we are connected to our PostgreSQL server so if you click on this databases this arrow next to the databases you will see that you already have just one database here that is the default PostgreSQL database. So let's see how we can create a database now. You can right click on this databases and click on create a database. And I'll just give it name test underscore db. And these are the other details. For now, I'll not go into these details and I'll just click save. 
and our database is created so as you can see the database is already created and th there are the stuff here extensions triggers and all the stuff so now you can just do these operations here up to with the database okay so now to go into all these details will be a bit out of the scope of the scope of this tutorial so this is how you can install uh, postgresql and create databases if you have any questions let me know in the comments below